in order to create data-driven governance, we have to have a data culture in the public sector. A data culture means using data in a pervasive way. Specific to the public sector, it means a deep organization-wide comfort level with using metrics to maximize social impact. There are seven principles for a data culture. One, data culture is a decision culture. The fundamental objective in collecting, analyzing, and deploying data is to make better decisions. Two, data culture and leadership. Commitment from the very top is essential in order to establish a data culture. Third, democratization of data. We need to stimulate demand for data from the grassroots to create a competitive advantage. Data should be used at all levels and not just at the top or not just by a group of people specialized in data analytics. Data culture is also a risk culture. So risk analysis, risk mitigation is at its core. Culture catalyst is the fifth principle. To really ensure buy-in, someone's got to lead the charge. We have to have a champion. And usually, the most effective change agents are not digital natives. Six, we have to treat data as crown jewel. Data is the source of competitive advantage in a more interconnected world. And data is what will help transform governments to become more effective and more efficient. Finally, the seventh principle, marrying talent and culture. We have to strike the appropriate balance between injecting new employees and transforming existing ones. We have to take a broader view in sourcing and a sharper look at the skills that our data team requires. Culture is the dominant aspect that sets expectations of how far data is democratized, how it is used and viewed across the organization, and the resources and training invested in leveraging data as a strategic asset. This is why it is so important to create a data culture in the public sector in order to achieve data-driven governance.